Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on the second part of a project I recently started, um, which was installing recessed can lighting in my master bedroom closet. Now, if you want to get caught up, I'll put a link to that video here, as well as down in the description below. Alright guys, so for this video we're going to cover how to remove an existing switch slash electro box on the wall, as well as how to install a new remodel box. Now if you want to catch my video on how to actually wire up the switch, I'll link to it at the end of this video as well as I'll put a link in the description. Alright, so before I actually uh, start disconnecting my switch here, um, I need to shut the power off to it. Now, the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to turn the lights on. As you can see, they're on in the closet. And then I'll just go down and uh, flip the breaker. All right, so now that we have our power disconnected, we can go ahead and start removing the switch and disconnecting all the wiring. Now, a couple things I like to do before I actually disconnect any wiring. One, I like to take pictures, and two, I like to mark any outlying connections. Now, the main reason I like to do this is because it just makes it easier when I go to rewire something back up. I can now go back and look how things were originally wired up for reference. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and start cutting out our box here. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I need to get to the back side to be able to pull the water, wires out. Um, that way I don't have to open up the wall too much. So, 47 and a half. Next, I'm gonna mark a line for the edge of the box. All right, so to measure for our box, we're just gonna go down here find our bottom line there, set that there, find our outside line right there, put a line there, put a line on our top here, <clears throat> mark the side. All right, so next I'm going to take my level and I'm just going to connect all my lines. Now, as I referenced before, the reason I'm cutting out the hole for the new box before cutting out the old box is so that I have access to both sides of the box in the event I have issues getting the box or the wires out. This way I can avoid damaging any more drywall than necessary.
All right, so now that we got the old box out, we can go ahead and start wiring up the new box. <clears throat> So once you get the remodel box installed in the wall, all you need to do is turn the screws clockwise to extend the clamp tabs behind the wall. Then you can keep tightening the screws down to lock the box in place. Alright guys, and that's how you would remove an existing electrical box without causing a lot of damage to the wall, as well as installing a new remodel box. As always, thanks for watching, and if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you click that link below and become one, and we'll catch you on the next one.